Championship since 2007. On that note, let's go live to Miami and join our man, Chris Mitchell. Hello, Tolson. I'm not sure what you just said because it's too noisy in the American Airlines Center to hear anything. I can barely hear myself. But what I can tell you is this is a key moment in the career of LeBron James. LeBron James, the Miami Heat star, is one of the global sports stars. He transcends the sport of basketball, doesn't he? He's one of the richest men, about $60 billion, million dollars a year. That is a lot of money, and that makes him a well-known character. But it's been a decade now that he's been tipped as the next Michael Jordan. In fact, since he was drafted in 2003 as the number one pick, people have been saying, there's the next MJ. But MJ never lost a NBA final. 6-0 he was. Already LeBron has lost twice, and he can't afford to win this game tonight. If the San Antonio Spurs win here tonight, that's it. The series is done. And LeBron James's sporting reputation takes a massive, massive hit. Down here, I don't know if you can see, the players have been putting the final touches to their shooting skills. We've got Chris Anderson, you might just be able to pick him out, the man with great tattoos and a Mohican. He didn't play any minutes in the last game, but he's a big defensive presence for Miami, and he might get some minutes tonight if things start going wrong for them. Over at the other end of the court, Manu Ginobili there, at the top of the key, putting in a three-pointer. That one hits the rim. He was in scintillating form against Miami uh, the other night in San Antonio when they won game five. Of course, they lead 3-2 now, the Spurs. The old men, can they beat the king? At the moment, their star is in the ascendancy. But everyone here in Miami tonight says Miami will win and we will get a game seven. Chris Mitchell in Miami, thank you very much. A rather subdued Chris Mitchell as well. We'll get him going a little bit later on, no doubt. Now let's move to athletics news. And the two-time Olympic 200...